What's up YouTube? Check out this awesome cheap CNC plasma table I made using a cheap laser engraver, 12 volt relay and a cheap Amazon plasma cutter. This isn't my original idea so credit goes out to half ass customs make sure to go check out their do it yourself video which is way more in depth than this is going to be. First you will need to buy yourself a Gen Mitsu Jinsuku LC 60A 5.5 wood laser engraver. I recommend buying it from Sainsmark.com as they have some sales and could be a cheaper, but Sane laser engraver can be bought from Amazon. Links will be posted in description. Once you have your laser engraver, set it up for the manufacturer directions and make sure everything works before you begin to convert it to a plasma cutting machine. First step in the conversion will be to remove the laser module from the engraver. Once you have the laser removed, using the hex tools provided, you will need a small Phillips screwdriver to remove the mounting plate from the back of the laser as seen here. Next take that mounting plate and trace it onto a piece of metal, trace the mount but make sure to make the cutout bigger as we will be welding a ring to hold the plasma cutter torch on the engraver. At this point cut out your traced metal. I used a grinder with a cutoff wheel but use what you have available. Here I'm just cleaning up the sharp edges a bit. Next step is to drill out the mounting holes onto the piece of metal you just cut out. I used a paint marker but a fine point sharpie might work better. I don't remember the size bit here but it just needs to be big enough for the screws to fit through. Make sure the holes line up with the original mounting bracket. I had to make mine a little bigger since they didn't line up exactly. Next screw your new plate onto the engraver reusing the original hardware. Now we need to mount the steel two-piece clamping collar I got from Amazon to the plate. I originally purchased the wrong size for my torch so make sure to measure your torch and get the correct collar you need. Mine ended up needing a 1 and 1 8 inch bore for the torch to fit. Weld your collar to the plate. Careful not to cover any of the threads of the collar. A couple of tack welds should be enough to hold it as the torch isn't too heavy. Mount the plate with the welded collar back onto the engraver. Make sure everything is straight and level. Now it's time to mount the plasma torch using the steel collar. The plasma cutter I am using is a best arc high frequency start torch. It is not recommended due to electronic interference of the high frequency start but it has been working for me so far. Now we need to wire the trigger from the plasma cutter to the laser engraver. Each model may be different, you may need to take the torch apart to access the trigger wires. On my plasma cutter there is separate connections for the trigger on the machine. So all we need to do to get it to work is touch the two pins together or close the circuit in order to trigger the plasma torch. This is where the 12 volt relay comes in. We will use the power used to turn on and off the laser to open and close the circuit of the trigger using a 12 volt automotive relay. Here is a diagram on how I did that by splicing into the red and black wires from the laser engraver. Pause here if needed. You can also add quick connects to your spliced wires be able to switch back and forth from laser to plasma quickly. Here I am having some trouble getting the engraver to connect to my computer but after I reinstalled the drivers and restarted everything it connected fine. It's alive! If you made it this far congratulations you now have a budget CNC plasma table. It's not a perfect machine but it is a great addition to a hobbyist garage. In this clip I am manually adjusting the height as my table here is not level. Now take some time getting to know the software and try different settings to avoid excess draws. Also it took me a while to figure this out but in laser burn software under advanced cut settings, enable a start pause and check the cut through mode with power set to 100% to give the plasma torch time to pierce before starting to move.
Next thing I did was go to my local scrapyard and found a storm drain cover and made myself a cutting table. This is optional, but since I had originally bought the wrong collar, I decided to make a new plate and mount for the plasma torch. This time I used the plasma cutter to cut out a plate and welded two collars to it. While I was redoing things I decided to change out my handheld torch to a machine style torch from Amazon. This makes it easier to use up the entire cutting area of the cutter without the hoses hitting the edges of the engraver frame. Here are a couple things I've made with it so far. This here is quarter inch plate for an offset smoker I am working on. This is more smoker parts. Notice thicker steel will need to be cut at a slower speed. Check out Half-Ass Customs video in the link below. He shared a couple setting you can start with for different sized material. I hope you enjoyed this video and found some of the information here helpful. If you did please like and share this video and subscribe. If you have any questions don't hesitate to ask in the comments and I will try my best to answer. Okay bye for now, see y'all on the next project.